In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this awesome hipster design. Hi guys and welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys very simply how to do this very simple hipster design here. Alright, so let's get right away into it. First of all as well, like usually, I'm going to go to File, New and open directly a new canvas. Over here I'm just going to write Hipster and as well going to choose the same preset as normally, which is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. This is due to my screen recorder, so you guys need to put in your width and height here, whatever you guys need. As well, resolution 300, so it's nice and high quality. I'm going to hit OK and directly get a new canvas over here. I'm going to press F quickly, just get out of the full screen mode and move this all to the side. And as well, yeah, we can actually move both of this here away. I'm just going to move this to the side and press F again, nice and full screen as you guys can see, so we're not distracted here by the background. So again, first of all, we just started out now with the white canvas. As you guys can also see, it's still locked here, the background. We don't really need that. What I'm going to do is basically, we actually went online and just scouted for a really cool image, and I've already found this image here. I'm just going to drag it quickly into our Photoshop canvas here. Okay, so you guys can literally also go online and have a look for awesome backgrounds, color backgrounds, maybe with a girl, something with a sunset, something in this direction. So this is basically my start where I'm starting out with. First of all, what I want to do is give this now a bit of a blurry effect. I'm going to move this a little bit up still. I think this composition looks pretty great. Now I'm going to go to filter and over here say blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, so with Gaussian Blur, I'm just going to give it like a really rough blur. Something around 10 to 12 pixels, as you guys can see over here. So mine is set to 12. Okay for that. Now, for the next step that I still want to do is play a little bit with uh, some adjustment layers. I'm just going to go to Adjustments. And yeah, let's go to the Curves Adjustment Layer. And I'm just going to tweak a little bit here the shadow areas up a little bit. And also take the slight S-curve down, so giving that a bit of contrast pushing the highlight side up a little bit, just boosting that image a little bit more with contrast. Okay, so that's basically just a little step over here just to enhance the image a little bit. Now we're going to concentrate on building the font and overall logo. So again, I'm going to select the text type tool over here, make a big selection, and we're going to write in here hipster. Okay, so we wrote that as our start. I'm going to select the complete font over here and first of all going to select a color. So under the color picker tool here, I don't want to go with a complete dark black color over here. I think a little bit of a lighter gray, well still a dark gray, but you guys kind of get the point. A little bit of a darker gray down here. Select that, okay. And I still want to select a complete new font for this now. So let's go into the font uh, library here and I'm also going to go for... Okay, so I'm going to pick this one, Intro Inline, and you guys can also find all of the fonts obviously on the font.com or in the description down below. I've linked everything for you guys. Alright, so especially you guys can see Hipster, we've got that. I'm going to change the size a little bit, so make it a little bit bigger, like so. And going to accept it for the start. So I'm not pretty sure what size, I'm just going to go with a rough size at the top here. Going to select the font as well and just put it somewhere here into the center. Great, so that is already my start, just again um, placing that into the center. Now what I want to do is also add a few lines on top of that. So again, we've already got here our hipster font. Now what I'm going to do is also go down here and add a new layer. And under the new layer, we're just going to write line. You guys can also feel free to write whatever you like. I'm going to go select the marking tool and literally just going to make a rough line like this, a selection here, and going to make the selection really small, so this is going to be my line already. Okay, and inside of the selection I'm going to hit right click, not outside, and say fill this up again with black, but not complete black, it has to be the same uh, off grey or dark grey like we have here on the font. So again, under the contents area I'm not going to choose black over here, I'm going to go to color, the color picker comes up and I'm just going to go onto the font, select this color as you guys can see over here. We've got the color selected and hit OK. OK again, Command D, get out of the selection and as well I'm working with a Mac. If you're a Windows user, please use Control when I say Command. OK, great, so we've got the line already. I'm just going to take V here on the keyboard and move the line a little bit down with my cursors. 
and I can already see that hipster is a bit too big for me. So again, I'm going to select the text tool here, select hipster, select the whole word and just make it a little bit smaller. Great, like a 42, let's actually go 41. Okay, accept that. And we're going to take the move tool again and literally just move that into the center here, almost in the center. As well, I quickly want to run an action, so I'm just going to go to my actions palette here at the top and select my guidelines. You guys can also find more about that on another video here on the channel. I'm going to hit play and quickly check. All right, here's the center point. So I can actually take hipster and line and just move this all together down a little bit. Cursors again, move that around and that's perfect. I'm going to go back to view and say clear guides. Okay, and now what I want to do is also duplicate this line layer because I also want to have another line down here. So again, command J, just duplicate that, move that all the way down somewhere to here. And I'm ju just judging via my eye now so you guys can actually create some more helplines, guidelines here in order to see this a little bit better. So if you guys want to create a guideline, yeah, to help yourself a bit. Guys, also don't forget the Windows people here, don't forget to press Control when I say Command. All right, we've got that, again, text tool. And now for the next step, I want to add like a little bit of another font in here, something like, um, yeah, let's call it the design today, the design hipster vector and illustration. So I'm just gonna type here at the top, the and design, especially obviously with a different font again, but for the start, let's just write the. Okay, I'm going to select everything. You guys can also press Command A or Control A just to select the whole font and whole text word quicker. Okay, so for that, I do want to have a different font again, something with a handwritten. So let's try handwritten here. Um, let me find it. It's called Hand of Sense. There we go. Okay, I'm going to select that and it's way too big so we can't see it. I'm just going to make it nice and small, something around this. And it looks kind of thick to me. Let's go to the character box here and bold is not selected. So that's what the font actually looks like already. But I'm okay with that. If you guys do have a better font, you can also find better fonts again on the font. Okay, I'm going to accept it again. And that's again the first start. I'm just going to put it somewhere over here. Press Command J, duplicate that layer. Drag it all the way down, T text tool, select it again, and I'm just going to write design, maybe designs. Okay, great. Accept that. And also the height and the size is pretty good for me at the start. I'm going to place it somewhere over here. Okay, let's take the, also from the layers palette again, I'm going to move this down, or basically into the center maybe, a little bit more down. Okay. Designs again and Command J, duplicate that, move that all the way down. And again, now for this stage, I'm just going to write again vector and illustration. So again, vector and illustration. There we go. Okay. And the font size as well. I'm going to keep the same size. Everything is perfect. I'm going to accept it. Move tool and just literally move that again into the center somewhere. And I'm not worrying too much about these little, like the T here, the L and the T that it's spilling over because we're still going to cut that out. Okay, a little bit more. So I do want to bring in some really nice formal fonts with a little bit of a handwritten mix together. So it looks a little bit designy, mixy, fun in a way. Okay, so we've done all the fonts. Next up that we want to do is go back to line one over here in the layers palette. And we just want to make a small selection around the G here just to take that little piece out. So again, the marking tool, I'm going to go over here and just make a rough selection, hit delete on the right layer, please. And as you guys can see that I've already deleted the line. I'm going to press command D again, get out of the selection, move down a little bit and select the second line over here, which is line copy. We can actually just run here line two. Okay. And again, M for marking tool. And I'm literally going to make just a few simple, small selections here. I've just pressed Z to zoom into my image here. M for marking tool again and going to select this little area, hit delete, maybe just take this whole selection, move it over here, delete, delete and delete a little bit, a little bit more and over here going to delete this and the little arrow over here, the last T. Okay, great. I can zoom out again and just having a look here at my complete image. Next step that I want to do is basically also crop these lines a little bit. They're a little bit too far for me. So again, marking tool via the M on keyboard and just going to make a rough selection like so. 
Now what I'm going to do is just select line layer 2 over here, delete and select line layer number 1, hit delete, again marking tool, take the whole selection over to this side, and I'm now having a look at the distance here that we get from our first letter to the end, trying to compare that a little bit here, yeah maybe I can move that in a little bit, something like that. Again on line layer number 1, delete, and line layer number 2, delete. Command D, get out of the selection, and you guys can already see what that looks like. Now, another thing that I want to do is basically move all of this a little bit together. So again, I'm going to select line 2, line 1, then designs, the, and vector illustration, all of these layers. Maybe just line, vector illustration, and design. We're going to move that all together. A little bit up, and do the same for the top, just design the and the first line and we're going to move that down a bit. Okay so this is obviously a little bit of a playing thing you guys have to find the sweet spot for yourself. Alright so what I'm also going to do now still is just add a complete new empty layer here so let's just select the empty layer I want to make a bit of space here take B for the brush and first of all I'm going to press control all together move my brush left and right to first of all determine the size and up and down here just to also change my hardness of the brush. So I'm going to change my brushness to 100% and then as well going to make my brush super small, something around 8 pixels. Okay, let's also go here to the top and we're just going to say here 8 pixels, maybe even 6, let's have a look. I'm trying to get the same size as we have here from our line. So this is a little bit too thick still. Let's maybe just go for 6 pixels. Okay, yep, and that looks a little bit better. Okay, so I can literally just draw now with my pencil here, or with my pen actually. So I'm working with the Vacuum Continuous 5 Pro tablet, and it's very easy for me to just draw very quickly here with the brush um, instead of a mask. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this board. Okay, so what I want to do is just create like a little arrow over here. I'm going to press B for the brush, and 100% opacity from the top on a new layer, and I'm just going to make a rough round circle here, something like that. That looked totally weird, so I'm going to try it again. And as you guys can see, I'm just pressing Command Z to go step back. Then I don't need to go to the history panel and always go back. So literally again, okay, let's try that again. Command Z. I'm just going to do another circle over here. Another one, okay, and that looks around great for me. So I do want to have a bit of an artistic feel to this. I'm going to make a little arrow at the front and as well a few feathers here or supposed to be feathers a little bit of a creative thing okay so what I want to do now next step is press command J duplicate that layer and just drag that all the way down and I'm just going to rotate that so basically go to edit transform flip horizontally first of all and then as well I'm going to go back to edit transform and flip vertical great so now I can just place it somewhere at the bottom Okay, and to be a little bit more creative, next step that I want to do is take again layer number one, move that down a bit, layer number one copy, let's have a look, and on layer number one copy, I'm going to just press B for the brush again, and like draw a little X in here, that's a little bit too big, so again, like so, yeah, and I'm going to leave it just like that, great, so that's basically all already, I'm going to zoom out a little bit and give this the last touch now. So literally, again, a complete new layer, and I'm just going to go to the gradient tool. Let's also go here into the gradient field, and we can just pick a nice theme. And I'm going to basically pick this, a little bit of purple and orange. I think this is also coming standard from Photoshop. So select that as well, going to select not radial, just the normal standard gradient. And going to go over the gradient here and just kind of make a nice gradient, like so. And let's also switch this over here to lighten so we can actually see what's happening already. I'm going to try and do this again. Okay, a little bit more. I want a little bit more blue in this. Okay, maybe let's go a little bit lower so we've got a bit more orange from the top. Again, I have a bit of a playing thing here. Okay, like something like so. Okay, nope. Maybe upwards. Yeah, something like that. I really like that. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, something like that. Okay, great. So then again, I can take the opacity just down a little bit. And that's already how we created just 
this simple logo. So thanks again guys for watching. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, share it with all your friends that can benefit from this. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.